everybody, we have got a fantastic hour ahead. Can I just say, on a, on a personal note, it's been so nice to have Natasha join us and be part of the team because her enthusiasm for fabric is infectious. She is incredibly knowledgeable and she is just, uh, she's been a real driving force in helping her Chanda bring you some incredible fabric. So on the show today, we have got our creative grids, brand new. We've never brought these before. Uh, and Natasha will be explaining how to use those. They are incredible. But we also have, now we featured earlier on, we brought it onto this show as well, Cave Facet Fabrics. It's from the Cave Facet Collection, uh, Collective, I should say. They are phenomenal and they're at such a good price. But here's the thing, when you use the creative grids with the fabrics, special things happen like this. Now, come on. Natasha's going to show you how anybody could be creating such fantastic uh, blocks like this. Got to tell you, we are busy, but let's introduce you to the lady of the moment. I'm a huge fan. Uh, it is the lovely Natasha. Here we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. My goodness, I've never been given such an introduction. I Thank you, everywhere. Yanis. Oh, God, I've got to well up. Um, hello, welcome everybody. So Creative Grids, what can I say? They are a family run company. So hello to Sheila and Rachel. They are based out of Leicester. You will see on all of their rulers, the little fox, this is the sign of Leicester. There it is. So Creative Grids is a family run company. May, uh, they are quilters making for quilters. And that is the key thing to remember because it means that they know their stuff. They really do. I was incredibly lucky to be introduced to Creative Grids very early on in my quilting career, uh, which meant that I didn't waste my money on other rulers. I do not have another ruler in my, in my studio. I don't, because I don't use any other. I don't want to use any other. These are the ones that I use, and I, I feel unsafe with a lot of other rulers, and this is why. So this is, when people say, what ruler, Natasha, Natasha, I'm starting to quilt. What ruler should I get? This is an absolute essential. Uh, so this is 24 and a half inches by six and a half inches. Bit of a weird size, right? No, 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 no. When you take your fabric off the bolt, um, your fabric, selvage to selvage, so edge to edge where it's on that loom, is around 44 inches, anywhere from 22 to 44 inches in the majority of cases. Now that is folded and wound onto your, onto your bolt. As that comes off, that's folded in half. Half of 44, 22, right? So by the time you've got your 22 inch fabric underneath here, not only do you have an inch to butt your, your, um, your rotary cutter to, so you safely start, but by the time you get to the end, you've got an inch at the end to safely finish and cut that fabric in one fell swoop. Because the very first thing you are gonna have to do when you start quilting is cut fabric and scissors ain't gonna do it. I'm sorry, they're not. You're gonna have to pick up a rotary cutter. That's it, that's it. Um, so this is this is fabulous that's the first thing is that this is a great size length everything else the next you can see that around the edge and you've got these little circly bits in here that kind of look a little bit opaque this is um creative grids inbuilt non-slip grip okay so that means that when that is on my fabric, that is not going anywhere, which means that I can cut safely. It's not, it's, it's rough enough to hold, but not uh, rough enough that it's going to affect the fabric in any way, shape or form. So that's the other thing. And it's inbuilt all the way around the edge and across at vital points across there to hold in place. So you're not going to waste fabric because you're not going to be slipping and miscutting. That is also vital. Now, here's how much gone. 10% already gone. Good, good. Um, I need to apologize to those of you that don't have creative grids but do have rulers because you're gonna end up swapping. Yeah. Um, start a ruler at a time. We're starting with the basics and we're gonna bring you all sorts. Now, the other thing to note with creative grids is um, that on this side, that opaque is half an inch and on this side it is a quarter of an inch which is another guide for you when you want a visual is that a quarter of an inch seam let's just check that have I got a half inch there let's use that and check that um, now with every one I'm just taking time with this one and then we can go quickly through the other squares and the rectangles because creative grids are renowned for another thing as well who knew that rulers could be so involved right uh, so 
As a quilter, I use inches and I use half inches a lot and it can be really confusing with some rulers um, if I'm trying to go for an inch and a half I have to triple check myself to make sure that it's always going to be on that half inch line creative grids know this they absolutely know this so if I hold this ruler up here you'll see the white markings are all whole inches yeah if I spin it around here I now have inch and a half measurements so if I'm cutting a two and a half inch strip, I can just line it up on my two and a half inch measurement. And it is done for me. And that is why for the safety, for the accuracy, for the clarity of use, that is why Creative Grids are the best in the market, in my humble opinion, bar none. Love them. Right, so and that is the feature and all of their square and rectangular uh, rulers. So if we're looking at this one, this is your 24 and a half by six and a half inch ruler. It is 23 pounds and 95 pence. You will not look back. Uh, that will be dispatched from the 23rd. Everything on the show will be dispatched on the 23rd ruler wise. So another great size is this one here. And again, you've got your spinning around. So you've got your, um, your white whole inch and you've got your half inch as soon as you spin it around. Now what's this? If you've got one of those QR scanners on your phone, you can scan that in and get video tutorials from Creative Grids. Okay, and just more information on the ruler. So this is a six and a half inch square. It's incredibly useful for cutting back blocks. Um, how much has gone already? over 10% gone already. You've also got your 45 degree line there. So if you're trimming back blocks, you've got half square triangles or anything like that, it is incredibly handy. Sometimes having a, a large ruler like the 24 and a half by six and a half inch, you don't want to be constantly having that length. So this is absolutely perfect. It's handy, it's compact. Take it to all of your workshops when you know, you're allowed out. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> but otherwise, just stay home and get a stash of rulers to use. Brilliant, excellent. Right, next, that is uh, 465553. Now the next one is, um, so as you go up your blocks, another block size that is um, incredibly, is in, well, it's just used very, very often is your 12 and a half inch. So this again is your 12 and a half inch. Uh, there is your whole 12, spin it around and you will have, if I just spin that around there, you will have then your half inch increments all the way this is just brilliant absolutely brilliant and again you've got all of those inbuilt non-slip grips when you use a creative grid ruler you will not want to use your other ones i'm sorry if you have a great big stash of other quilting rulers these are safe and that is so vital as soon as you start using a rotary cutter watch out for your fingers and this helps you do so so this is 2195 it's an incredibly useful size 157064 this is after the uh, 24 and a half inch by six and a half inch for me this is the next bestseller uh, this is your 12 and a half inch by six and a half inch so it's a nice midway point uh, that means that you can do those larger blocks you can trim those larger blocks back uh, it, but it's not too big it's not too bulky it's an incredibly useful size this is my go-to a lot of the time and it's 17 pounds and 95 pence one seven four three seven four it's great it's you know it's half the size of the really long one it, it's brilliant you will end up using it now when they said Natasha will you plan the show yes happy to what sort of things should we have on there and I wanted to bring you then one of their um, quintessential quilting block rulers and, and one of the very first blocks that I ever heard of was a with a flying geese you know you hear of a flying geese block um, and this ruler this weird looking thing here is gonna give you perfect flying geese blocks do you want to see so i did this in between the shows that is your perfect flight look at so what i want you to pay particular attention to are my points my perfect points people there we go perfect points as we come up they are i haven't let they they are there they are because this ruler makes it so easy so easy we had um two hours in between shows and i managed to create my own fabric and make my own blocks. I um, 
did a whole, I mean, this could be a whole board around quilt. You know, easy, that's your K-Facet fabric. That's actually a Philip Jacobs design for, K for the K-Facet Collective get my words out and we've got those on the show as well uh, so that can be a border all the way around your quilt now the one that you have all been waiting for and this is my favorite ruler of all time and I was very very lucky to be able to launch this actually 30% of this already gone this is brand new to market I launched this on my website two weeks ago so it is brand brand new um, and this is your stripology extra large ruler this has now taken the place of the original stripology they have discontinued that one they're not doing that one anymore this has taken the place of it and what you can do with this I'm going to show you all sorts of things you've already seen it in action if you saw seven o'clock this morning but why not cut yourself your two and a half inch strips and create yourself a checkerboard? Why not do that? Why not create yourself your diamonds, your 60 degree diamonds and create yourself a harlequin quilt? Why not do that? Again, all of these were done within the two hours that we had. It is fast, it is simple, it is safe and you will not waste fabric anymore. We will see this in action in a f in a few minutes because this has got this is just brilliant 40 percent gone oh no i want to be able to use it don't buy it all can we just hold on to one so that i can use it come on come on right now let's have a look at this this is the little sister and actually this is the one that paula has started with um and she you know she absolutely agreed <laughs> this is the same size as paula she said actually she said the extra large is for her at the moment too big she, you know she just she wouldn't so she went for this one we had lots of conversations she tried both and she went for this one uh now this one when people say Tasha, well why why would i go for this one over the other it's just that it is more compact this um has the same features as a now now in the XL but for this this is going to trim back your blocks you are also going to be able to cut your strips at every half inch increment but also this will trim back your blocks so you can see in here those white markings um, so you would put your block in the middle trim back the sides spin it around trim back you line up through those diagonals if you've got half square triangle quarter square triangles so I'm just trying to move my top there you go that's so you can see those white lines um, and you can see on here four and a half inch six and a half inch and that one in between is five and a half but they have you know you know that they haven't they don't need to mark every sort of single half inch um, it's all there for you to trim back which means that you are going to get perfect blocks the minute that you have a perfect block everything then slots together perfectly you get perfect points you get perfect quilts and you get a quilt that you are uh, that you are proud of rather than one of those ones that you go oh i made this it's not very good two flexes on that yeah really worth having 848199 i use mine a lot as do i this one now this um Lots of people will have all of the stripologies because they all do slightly different things. This is your stripology squared mini. So what this one is going to do is allow you to trim back those smaller blocks. Again, it's less wieldy. So if you want to go to and take this to workshops, then you absolutely can. So down here, um, you have got your whole inch blocks to cut back in the black. And then again, if I spin this around, then what you'll see, um, oh, hang on, I don't need to spin this one around, that's the other one. Um, with this one, you've got in white, you've got the half inch increment. So it's very clear which is which. You've got your whole inch and look at that. It just is fab. Um, so also along here, you'll see a couple of dotted lines. When you first start to cut, you'll make your cut on zero. But then if you want to cut, something that is say hang on come back down again but down, 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 there, there, there this is what we're looking at here there you go uh, <laughs> there we go look at the power i wield come back come back um so you would cut your your line and then if you wanted say a, an a one inch and an eighth then you would butt your corner to your line your edge to there and then cut on that inch and then you've got an inch and an eighth or an inch and three eighths so this is the same on all of them um, and when we start to get going with the stripology rulers you'll get an idea of some of the other features that we've get which are just fab and of course you need fabulous fabrics to go with these things so these are um, all 
the, this is from the, the KFC, not Kentucky anything. This is the K Facet Collective. Uh, now that comprises of K Facet himself. He does all of the color work and a lot of the designs. But in this case, this is from one of the other members. There's Brandon Mabley and there's also Philip Jacobs. Now this, these are all Philip Jacobs botanical designs and they are absolutely exquisite. The color work has been done by K Facet, uh, which is why the colors just work and pop and are incredible but the beautiful designs are by Philip Jacobs now Philip Jacobs said um, I interviewed him and he's such a lovely man and I remember him saying I had a bit of shock I was watching the news and uh, and, and they were sat on a, on a sofa and, and it was my fabric <laughs> so do you know what if Philip Jacobs fabric is good enough for the White House it is good enough for us quite frankly um, so you can use this. This is 44 inches salvage to salvage. You get to pick which three half meters, or it could be that you want a meter and a half of one, in which case just put three units of that. It will come in one continuous length. Um, this is quilting weight cotton. It's 44 inches salvage to salvage. It is a beautiful weight. This is a top quality um, fabric. And when you get it, you will feel it. Even, uh, you know, Leonie, uh, she felt it. She's like, it, you can just feel the difference. Yes, you can. And it's an absolute joy to work with um, whether you're just going to put a little tiny bit in a, in a project or whether you are going to I mean for instance when I first started there is no way that I would have gone all out for that I mean it just would have been too much but now I love it I'm like yeah mix in all those colors and I would probably just put a plain board around the edge or something like that but with the stripology ruler I've cut my two and a half inch strips I've put them end on end I was going to make myself a racer quilt but then actually I decided I would just make myself my own fabrics and do that so do pop that in if you miss the seven uh, the seven o'clock show then we also showed you how to make these it's all on the website these are the patterns you pick a fabric to go with it you get half a meter of the plane and there it all is so that is the pick and mix of the Philip Jacobs for the K facet collective fabrics they are exquisite absolutely exquisite just adore them absolutely adore them so yeah loving it good right okay so let's 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 demo the ruler before it sells out <laughs> okay um yeah right yeah make that phone call let's see because uh, this is the brand new extra large stripology ruler. This is now my go-to. I use this every single day um, and it has, it has revolutionized my cutting. The very first time that I saw this on a show was a few years back and it was at a time when I wanted to quilt but I was just too scared to use a rotary cutter. I was rubbish. Rulers slipped around all over the place and I just was wasting fabric. I was, I, you know, there was, I couldn't cut straight, let alone sew straight. So this changed everything and I remember seeing it on a show and here's the thing two and a half inch strips we buy them they're a more expensive form of buying fabric because the effort has had to go into cutting it to two and a half inches but what if you could go through your stash and cut your own two and a half inch um, jelly roll design strip whatever you want to call it out of your own scraps out of your own fabric that you have chosen so that means that you're then saving money because you haven't paid the premium for buying a pre-cut you're making your own and that's what this does brilliantly one of the many things that it does brilliantly so let me pick a fabric I'm gonna pick this one and let's see what we can do with this so you will get your fabric I've already hacked into this little bit but fold it Fold it in half. It will come off the, off the bolt, fold it in half like this, and then slip it under your ruler like this. Now, normally, if I was using uh, just a normal rectangular ruler, I would have to make a cut this end, spin it around, and then start making my cuts. So say I want to make this into a two and a half inch strip. I've made sure that I've folded it nice and square, um, and then I'm gonna line up one of these lines along the base of my fabric along there. So I know that I'm cutting straight. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of those edges. So my rotary blade goes into that little teardrop there and it just thank you very much in it goes and then you see i don't really have to put any pressure on i just put my fingers there and cut through and i can hear that cutting into the chopping board and that is my edge now 
nice and nice and crisp and clean okay so what we have down here down the bottom of the ruler here are numbers yes we've got the inches and the half inch increments all the way along but I've also got squares and stars and they are there for a very good ruler uh, reason for the ruler a good ruler it is a good ruler yeah, yeah, yeah so remember I told you that Sheila and Rachel are quilters making rulers for quilters so they know that you're going to be using two and a half inches one and a half inches an awful lot so what if I told you that I could cut two and a half inches, um, mm, 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 eight of them in under 30 seconds? Here I go. So everywhere I see a square, I'm going to put my ruler in and I'm going to make a cut. So every square, I'm not having to do maths because we've already seen that despite teaching maths for 10 years, as soon as I'm put under pressure on camera, I cannot count. So I don't want to be doing that. But what I have just done is just, yeah, maths, English and fencing for 10 years. Uh, there you go. That is uh, my two and a half inch strips cut. That is why you need a stripology ruler in your life. Yep, 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 yep. Um, right, so I've done my design roll. But what if I want to uh, make myself up a little charm pack? So if we've got design rolls, our two and a half inch strips, right? But what if I want to make a charm pack is based normally about five and a half inches, but it can be like you can get tiddly tiny ones about two, two and a half inches. You can get uh, larger ones. Uh, you can get uh, layer cakes, which are your 10 inches. Uh, so but again, pre-cuts come at a premium because someone has had to cut them and if somebody has had to invest time and effort into something you are going to pay more for it and also you might have a favorite fabric but maybe the jelly rolls had already ru run out um, or the charm packs had already run out but here I am again going in at every time I see a square 60% gone on this ruler good good and you've got people on the phones good um, there is my two and a half inch square and look multiples of them Right? That is why you need a creative grid in your life. When I first got one of these rulers, I basically disappeared for a few <laughs> evenings into my workroom and cut up all of my scraps into strips. And I now have a large stash of strips that I can just, there you go. There you go. Now, maybe you do English paper piecing. And you're going, well, I don't do like massive quilts and stuff like that. I just do English paper piecing. Fine. But it's already cut for you to a tiny, tiny size. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just use that for your English paper piecing if you need. So this is the black flower fabric from Philip Jacobs for the K Fasic uh, Selective. This is part of your pick, pick, pick and mix. Um, okay, so what if, what if, what if I, um, what if I, <laughs> what if I want to do, uh, there are so many, honestly, I, they said to me, have we, have we got enough product on the show? Yes, uh, but you know, won't you run out of stuff to do? No, absolutely not. Uh, let's have a look at cutting yourself a um, 60 degree triangle. Hooray, let's do that. I'm going to line it up along here. So I have a, whoops, six, I have, I'm going to start at zero. So that the corner of my fabric is now on zero. And I've now lined it up there. And that is the line I want to line it up on. I've got my 45 degree line. I don't want that. I want this line here. So this is on the ruler. Oh, it's oh actually as it coincides, yeah, it's next to that on the mat, isn't it? Um, it says 30 degrees, but of course, if you take 30 degrees away from 90 degrees, you're left with 60 degrees. So you're getting your 60 degree triangle there. So pop your pop your thing in there. That gets your edge. Now this was a two and a half inch strip, so I'm going to cut every two and a half inches again, and I'm having to put minimal effort. My hand is just resting on here. Every time I see that square, um, my rotary cutter is going in. Because now what I've got are my two and a half inch wow. 60 degree diamonds. Which means that I have accurately cut diamonds, which means that I can now do a harlequin quilt. 
okay? Easy peasy. And look, I'm cutting multiples as I go. Just easy, easy, easy. Now, what if I want a triangle? Okay, let's do a triangle. This is, oh no, this is, oh exactly, this is all with one ruler. So um, let's do, boo, 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 boo. let's have a little look at this. I'm just going to do, I don't know which one this is, but it's blinking gorgeous. <laughs> Turquoise leaves, oh bring up the details please. Um, I love this, well I love all of them actually, so you'll just hear me keep on saying that. First thing I do, over 70% gone for the option on the fabric or the ruler? For the fabric. Always, always, always just trim off those edges, get that straight cut there. Now, earlier I cut myself some little three inch squares just because that was what I was using on my demo earlier. I'm going to therefore cut myself some more three inch squares. Um, so let's take that fabric out of the way. How often do you shy away whoops, from doing a project because you have to cut stuff first? Yeah, if that's you, you know. Um, not judging, just saying you don't have to. You can actually enjoy cutting now. Um, so, here we go. In every three now. So, what I know is that there is a star there. So, the star is every one and a half inches. But if I skip one, I know that I'm going in three inch increments. So, skip a star, go there and I'm going in three inch increments and I'm not having to do maths on air because we've already agreed I'm rubbish at that. Um, but this, this I am good at. So now, here we go. Now I'm going to put these one on top of the other and I'm going to just mark it very quickly with an, oh hang on. There it is. I don't have to go finding it. I've got it. Where's my pen there? Right. This is why, um, so you've got your bright pink there on there. So um, that's your, so for your bright, your bright colours. I'm going to turn this around and have the bright pink on top so that you can actually see because there's a lot going on otherwise. This is where something like your six and a half inch square ruler is really handy. So I've done a line down the middle. I'm going to go, now remember I said that one side I had half an inch with the opaque inbuilt non-slip grip and the other side I had quarter of an inch. I'm going to use that quarter of an inch and I'm just going to mark there like that. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is take that to my machine. I'm going to sew down those two lines. So yes, your rulers of course great for cutting but also use them for marking really really handy for marking as well so let's just do that now you're going to say to me but Natasha I'm left-handed okay that's all right you can use your stripology ruler if you are left-handed as well um, it absolutely doesn't matter uh, you just spin it around it's all good so if you want to do half square triangles Yes, I could use my little ruler, but what I could also do is line up with my zero down that line there. And I know that I've got, I can line everything up beautifully. And if I was left-handed, by the way, I'd line it up the other end. And what I've got is half square triangles, perfectly done, perfectly made in moments. Easy peasy. And the reason they're perfect is because I cut them perfectly to start off with. And that's why it works. That is absolutely why it works. Now, if I just um, take that over here, just give that a little press. Then um, let me get out of here. Oh, I haven't got it, hang on. Could you, oh, no one can pass. Can I do a quick run for something? Yes. If I want to cut back a block, 
I've just grabbed the Stripology Mini. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I've just... Go, 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 go. Um, this is going to be a two and a half inch square. But of course, as we discussed on the seven o'clock show, the minute that you cut across the bias, you start looking at bendy, bendy fabric. OK, so just because of how the fabric is woven, as soon as you cut across the bias on that 45 degree line, it bends and it stretches. So it's very often the case. That's why we've got these half square and quarter square uh, markings on here that you will have to trim back a bit if you want to start with a perfect square. So here I've lined up my half square mark there. I'm going to put in, and you can see here the marks for two and a half inches, two and a half inches, two and a half inches, two and a half inches. So I'm just going to put my little, my little rotary cutter in there and I'm going to trim it back. I'm going to move it around. I'm going to line it up again. Uh, there like that. So I've got, uh, you know, I'm able to trim everything back and the lines that I've just done are sitting beautifully in there. And I am going to very easily trim back my block. And that is now perfect, ready to go. Oh, Donna, what would you like to know? Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely love it. Good. Um, can you cut through cotton? Yeah. So what you are limited by is the depth of your rotary cutter. OK, so that's, that's what you're limited by. There's no reason why you can't. What is underneath it is, is you know, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you're just limited by the depth of your blade. That's, that's all, that's all. Um, but yeah, there's no, there's no reason why. Just if you're using it with your rotary cutter, obviously make sure that you've got one rotary cutter blade for fabric and one for paper, because otherwise I will cry. We don't, we don't want that, we don't want that. So this is how easy it is just to trim back your blocks. Um, and that is sometimes why, you know, it's important to have, to have both, quite frankly. Um, you know, if it's an either or situation, I'd go for the, I'd go for the big one. Um, but if it's, if you know you've got something coming, I mean, look at that. How gorgeous are those? Perfectly done. Perfect. In moments. That is why you need creative grids. There you go. So uh, if you'd like that, that, that is 37.95. That is your strop, uh, stropology, stripology, squared mini rulers. Uh, join me, be, be one of Natasha's strippers. There are lots of us out there. Yeah, it's a thing. You leave your hat on, it's fine. Yanis, over to you. <laughs> There is not. Uh, rotary cutters, let's have a look at the rotary cutters. There you go. Um, now, with the rotary cutters, you also get a um, blade sharpener as well. Now, this will work as long as you don't have any great big chunks out of your blade, then you're good to, to um, yeah, chunks. Yeah, I've taken chunks out of blades before now. It's not pretty. Um, but this will just smooth off that blade and get it lovely and sharp for you once again. So um, absolutely vital to always, uh, to always go with a with a nice sharp blade and this will the sharpener that's in there will sharpen your 45 and your 28 mil blades um, and you've got a freedom price in there as well which is just fantastic Yanis thank you Natasha we are busy so if you would like to become one of Natasha's strippers uh, we have that's gonna sound very odd if you've just tuned in I know that's gonna sound <laughs> weird uh, so it's like what what's this shopping TV uh, look we're going to show you the rulers. Now, this is the launch, the Hochanda launch of the Creative Grids. They are phenomenal. They really are. Uh, and listening to Natasha explaining the virtues, why these are the only rulers she has in her home, in her studio. And look, when Natasha endorses something, she'll only bring you something if she genuinely loves it. For Natasha to talk that strongly about something, but you see she's talking about it from a quilter. Now, these are rulers, as she said, made by quilters for quilters. It's the fact that you're not struggling uh, to see the measurements. So if it is the two and a half grids, so all the measurements, you've got the non-slip in there. It is such a well-designed piece of kit. 
23.95 is your price there for your six and a half by 24 and a half uh, switch and a six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler there. 325 420 item number. It is a really good ruler. I mean, and I know that there are rulers on the market. I think well, I already got a ruler, but when you start using this and hearing Natasha talking about it and seeing her use it, you realize why they're so popular. And we are busy for these. Uh, we've got a six and a half inch square as well. So just thinking, what ruler, is there a gap at home in the rulers that you have? Are you looking to dip your toe into the world that is Creative Grids? Once you use them, uh, Natasha was saying earlier on, it's the kind of ruler that when you do use it, you'll realize, you'll never look back. You'll think, well, why wasn't I using this all along? Because it is such an intuitive ruler. The way the markings are all laid out, so uh, they're clear and legible, both on the uh, dark fabric and light fabric. I've got to point out that everything's going to be dispatched with regard to the rulers on the 28th. 23rd, apologies, 23rd uh, of the month. So everything will be dispatched on the 23rd. Definitely worth waiting for. 1449 is your price there. 465553, your item number. And now we've got the 12 and a half inch square. So again, the principle is the same, the system's the same with regard to the creative grid. So once you, you understand the system and how intuitive it is, same applies to all the rulers. You just go for the size that works for you. 21.95 is your price, 157064, your item number there for your 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch square. Then we have our six and a half by 12 and a half inch square which we can see here 17.95 is your price 174 374 your item number i'm being quick going uh, down because obviously we're going to see the rulers uh, in action with natasha and once you see, you need to see them uh, right we're going to show you something else this is a flight now flying geese a block a very popular block so I can imagine this will do flying geese and obviously so much more. $22.94, your price. Uh, I'm going to glance at Natasha. So instantly make a flying geese block? Uh, it, it cuts them so that you, it's the easiest way to make a flying geese block. Okay. You can also do half square triangles, quarter square triangles really easily. I will show you how. Amazing. Uh, and I love the fact we've got a freedom price on there as well. So do take advantage of the discount if you are a freedom member. Okay. Now we got to talk because anyone's a regular Soho Chand, I, I do soft craft shows and I always say that soft craft, uh, getting into quilting is something personally I would love to do at some point. I, I do, I'm not just saying that, I really would. When I saw this ruler system, <laughs> suddenly I was like, look, the stripology ruler, I need it. You really do because it is so versatile. Uh, Natasha said something that resonated with me. Have you got some fabric or have you ever bought, uh, say, strip rolls or your, uh, I know they're layer cakes, uh, jelly rolls, all the different sizes, that's all pre-cut. Because someone has cut it, and I know I'm, I'm taking this from you, Natasha, but because someone's cut it, you're paying a premium for that. Cut it yourself. But I think a lot of people are put off because you don't want to make mistakes. You're not going to make a mistake with the stripology ruler. It is, everything's there for you. It's clear, it's concise, it's accurate. Uh, you can make your mini, mini charms if you wanted. You can make your charm packs, you can make uh, your layer cakes, you can make your strip rolls. All of those different sizes are there. But then you go on to, Natasha was showing, what if I'm just going to grab that? Because suddenly we can make our diamonds if we want. Simple. It was so simple to do. Or, showing you here with your little mini squares as well, your checkerboard. Thank you, Natasha. Popping that down. Look, I've got to tell you, we're really busy for this, and we des this deserves to be busy. I love the fact it is a family-run business as well. The very first time we brought this to you, but I can imagine so many quilters at home. If you haven't got anything like this in your stash, you're seeing it like, what? I can actually cut my own fabric now uh, precisely. $62.95 is your uh, price there. You can split it in half. Over 60% of the stock has gone. It's something you need to see. Uh, if you have just tuned in, Natasha's been working with this. It's well worth revisiting the hour in full and seeing Natasha uh, using the stripology ruler. It looks like it could potentially go this out. Might not. We will see. I'll keep you abreast of what's going on. Very, very, very busy for this. Uh, right, gonna move on. We've got uh, another option. This is your square ruler. Same principle, it's allowing you that diversity to get the consistent, precise cut. Half the stock has gone here. $44.94 is your price for your Creative Grids non-slip stripology squared ruler. 848199, your item number. And that's 
just showing you the checkerboard. Oh, so there's a the checkerboard, just showing you that there. Lovely, and it's just, I know I showed it with the previous one as well, but it gives you an idea, and that, that is literally uh, the tip of the iceberg of what you can achieve. We do have, we have the Mini. Uh, so the Mini, uh, if you do want to, now the Mini is, actually the Mini's a good shout if you just wanted to give it a go, 37.95, uh, and if it, obviously allowing you to work on your, your smaller projects in there, but still you can do an awful lot with this. 37.95 is your price, Personally, and I, I do place a lot of value on what Natasha says. And she, if you and I understand, we've all got different budgets. If your budget can allow to go for the different, uh, the slightly bigger option, and you do have that workspace available too, go for the bigger option because then you can tackle uh, those larger bits of fabric and those larger makes. That's just me. That's where my mind's at. But we give you options, and we always do that here at Hochanda. Uh, three, uh, sorry, four three four five one five. Your item number there for the mini. Speaking of options, and my goodness, we are so incredibly busy for our fabrics. This is K Facet Collective Fabrics. Look at the designs, the patterns, the intensity, the vibrancy, the impact that you're getting here. Everything screams K Facet. Got to tell you, these are going to be dispatched on the 18th of April. They are staggeringly good I cannot say that enough when we all came into the studio this morning because there's a few of us everybody was literally zeroing in on these fabrics and gravitating towards them let's have a quick look I'll go through the options uh, for you should we start here I mean look at that so there's your green leaf option now you're picking any three you so you're effectively getting three half meters of K facet fabrics for 1997 or well, how about this that's your teal leaf, beautiful. Then we've got a yellow leaf, a turquoise leaf, which is approaching limited stock there. That's your blue leaf. What I will do very quickly, if we just pause there for a moment, the turquoise leaf, which is uh, gonna be limited, approaching limited, just going to open that up because uh, I won't open them all out. I just wanted to give you an indication. And imagine breaking that down and using it on a project. I think Natasha is going to be doing that in just a moment. So I will be quick because I want to throw back to Natasha. So there we go. That option, uh, teal leaf, looks like it's going to be going limited very, very soon. Carrying on down, we've got, oh, that's nice. Look at that. That's your grey flower. Pink flower. There's your dark flower in there, blue flower, and my favorite, the black flower. Stunning. Okay, so those are your fabrics. They are a pick and mix. Uh, and this is what I love what I was saying, and I genuinely meant it. It was so refreshing. Natasha coming here and becoming part of the Hochanda family because she's been a major driving force in ensuring that we bring you Liberty Fabrics, K Facet Fabrics. I mean, all those iconic ranges. Uh, and we're so glad we are able to offer those to you. 854-701, your item number. Now we're going to see Snowball Cushion, designed by Natasha herself. Uh, it is exclusive, a Hochander exclusive, and we love a Hochi exclusive. 11 eleven ninety nine for the pattern, you can't go wrong. Because you're getting the pattern, you're also getting the pattern for the uh, little pouch, which uses all your leftovers as well. Now, you have got uh, options, you're choosing one of the fabrics. We are getting fabric in the bundle as well. Uh, there is a white oh, option, oh, which, oh, there is a white, we haven't got it here, Natasha's got it, which is fine, Natasha, it's okay, it's all right. So, or these, and then you've got uh, the white option in the mix as well. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bad throw. So Such a bad throw. Sorry. Chris, that's all right. Chris, our director, asked Natasha if she could throw it, and we found out the answer. No, no, no. no, no, no badly, badly is the answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, that will be a so full half meter. I might have snipped into it. That's bit. okay. <clears throat> so you're picking your fabric. Now, let's think about this. So four options with regard to the fabric. So you just pick the option you want. And you're also getting the pattern for the cushion and the pouch, 11 99 So you're getting half a meter of plain fabric, the pattern, which is no Hochandra exclusive. I have to say, this pouch with the K-Facet collective fabrics, oh my goodness, does that work? And especially the cushion as well. And it is a beautiful design. 
really, really nice. Uh, okay, got to be quick. One more thing to share with you, and then I promise I'm going to be handing back to the lovely Natasha. Uh, this next bundle, what? It's sold out in between hours, but we have managed to bring it back. Uh, it's on extended delivery, and it'll be dispatched on the 23rd of April. Oh, I'm no, no wonder it's sold out because look at what you're getting for $15.99. You've got a uh, half a meter of each, your green, uh, your green, pink and blue. So wait, we're getting all three, all three of these half meters yeah. for $15.99. Yeah. Are you kidding, Natasha? That's a very good price. And this gives you an indication of what you could maybe be doing with those. Uh, sold out, it's back on extended delivery, 23rd of April. Uh, just going to show you some other items that are proving popular as we head back to Natasha. So, uh, oh, we've you're kidding. The cutting board sold out, all three of the options. So I'm afraid that they've gone. Uh, there we go. It's gone, I'm afraid. We've also got the rotary cutter. Now, one thing I want to point out with these rotary cutters, the sharpening, so you're getting both rotary cutters, which are a very, very good rotary cutter, but you're also getting in the center, that is a gizmo that allows you to sharpen your blades. You are never gonna throw away another rotary cutter blade. If you're working on a project, and we all know it, you've used it, I've seen it in the studio, guess using it and it's gone a bit dull and you're struggling, you're never gonna have that problem. It sharpens in seconds. That is gonna be your best friend if you do cut a lot of fabrics. And there is a Freedom Price on there as well, which is one of our best friends too. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hand over to lovely Natasha. You're going to need the, um, the sharpener because <laughs> you're going to be cutting a lot, let me tell you, when you get these home. Right, I've got nine minutes. I'm going to fly, uh, I'm going to fly you a flying goose. I'm going to show you a flying goose. Uh, I, I never know. if it fly, Is it one flying goose or, or uh, flying geese? It's We're going gaggle. to do one flying geese goose block. Right. Yeah. Okay, so using two things. First thing I'm going to do is cut strips. The very first thing that it calls for. By the way, as a side note, each ruler will come with these. Okay, and do not throw these away because these give you your instructions so when I'm not there you still know how to do it okay and it's it's brilliant uh, also what you have on there on the front is an idea of the blocks that you can be making with it and then also you've got a little thing here that you can just scan in if you've got the technology and it will take you to demos there right Oh, Paula's one of my strippers. Paula, yes, you are, my darling. And a very fine one at that. Um, this is sounding strange. You become a Natasha stripper by having a stripology ruler and you will love it. I think that Yanis will end up stripping soon. So I'm going to cut myself a strip. Um, I need, he's not denying it. Um, I, you see, it's boys and gadgets, isn't it? You know, not to stereotype or anything, but he's seen the gadget. Yeah, here it is. I'm going to cut myself a five inch strip. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I basically, the flying Ge geese ruler is a multi-size ruler. So that means that you can make multiple size flying geese. Okay, so yeah, I know it's your favorite fabric. Why do you think it's coming out? Uh, <laughs> it's my producer going, that's my favorite. Yes, it is. Every time I'm lining up the base of my fabric along one of these lines so I know I'm cutting straight, I'm then also gonna take that edge off so that I know that I'm cutting with a flush line. Uh, did I just cut five or five and a half? It was five, wasn't it? Right, five inch strip there we go let's get those that is my cutting done ready to then use my ruler so I need to decide whether or not um, I want to have this as this bit what do we reckon that bit is the main bit yeah yeah okay yeah so that means that my goosey bit um i'm just gonna trim back very i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this and show you if you i was one of these people that would only um only cut one layer of fabric with a slippy ruler because it's dangerous really dangerous but now i've got loads of layers going on here i don't care we'll do it non-slip grip in here built into all of the rulers and you'll notice that my my blade goes up into that weird circly thing it's so that i can cut all the way up there and it's all good i'm going to spin that around 
and now let's start to cut so we can see on this ruler um, it's telling me my fabric width well I've got a five inch strip so I'm going to bring that down here and here's the thing so hang on a minute why why is that chopped off on the end normally that would be pointy but no 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 that just cuts off our dog ears leaving dog ears in the only place that they should be and that's on the dog um, so that's your five inch strip I know I've lined that up correctly it gives me um, the size that I'm going to end up with four and a half inches by nine inch finish block and it's even highlighted here the white bits that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm just going to make a cut done now I'm going to spin it around, realign it. I'm going to line up my five inch strip, line there, push down, cut, done. How easy is that? There we go. I mean, there we go. I've got plenty there. Let me just give that a very quick press. Now, I'm going to pile those up because I'm going to show you how fast it is to now make all of your favourite, favourite, favourite things. Right. Now, what I'm going to do here is, again, find that five-inch strip line. So I've spun my ruler around, and I'm now looking at how I'm going to do that main part of my flying geese. I've lined it up. There's my five and a half inch strip line. I've got my fingers spread out and off I go. There it is. And again, my dog ears are cut off for me. I spin my ruler around. I line up that bottom bit with the bottom bit of my fabric. I line up on my five inch strip. Now you see already, I'm accurate because I cut my five inch strip with my stripology ruler. So there's all these places where little bits of error could just slip in are going because you've got top notch tools for the job. And that is what you're looking at. So how quick was that to do? Now I've got all of these that I can layer up here ready to then chain piece. Now I'm going to revert back to looking at the instructions um, because in there it shows me the layout. Now you'll notice that one end has got the dog ears off and that wants to be there. So your flying geese, let me just split these 50-50, is going to be done like that. So when I flip that onto that fabric there you will notice, first of all, that that goes off the end. Can we see there? That goes off the end. That goes off the end by quarter of an inch. But under there, if I line up my, uh, when I come to the sewing machine, if I line that up, that will give me a perfect quarter of an inch. So I will, f I will uh, take this to my sewing machine. And I will just line everything up there, up to there. And as I come in, I know that I am absolutely spot on with my quarter of an inch. And down I go. I've barely had to manipulate the fabric. Now, do you remember I said to you, the minute that you cut on the bias, you, uh, you start to um, get fabric stretch. Well, what you've done here, because you've had to, you've kept your fabric on your cutting mat, because you've flipped your ruler, you have minimized the amount of manipulation that you have had to do with your fabric. Uh, so that means that you are less likely to end up with wonky, wonky bits. If only the same could be said in life. And when I'm sewing, what you'll notice is I've got a place to aim for. So when I come off at the end there, I'm coming off right on where that's been cut off. So let's now press that open. I mean, I could, I, I could go through and just do all of those. Um, I'm just going to always set your seam and then just pop that back. So that is your, how long? How long what? A minute. What? Oh, come on, not again. Not again. Can't we just extend the show just by a little bit? Oh, what do you mean, no? 
right okay less speed more haste or is it less haste more speed whichever one it is i'm lining that up right this might not be my best work ever but bear with me because i am about to bring you a flying geese goose geese whatever it is <laughs> in moments Done! Yay! Yay! 15 seconds right now, I can do the other one! <laughs> I can do the other one! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh. oh! I could! Good. She can't. She can't. Thank you everybody. Natasha's coming up later on.